So, what is Fred? I have no idea. I hope it's not obscene. Who's Fred? Fred's a mystery man. I don't know what it is. It's a Fred. Well, a few years ago, two men had an idea. So, Scott, I've had this really great idea for a, for a film camp. I hear you, but what would we name it? Well, um, how about the, the Green Meadows Film and Video Workshop? This isn't exactly roll off the tongue. I mean, Green Meadows Video, yeah, video. Yeah, no, forget no, no. it, forget it. Too complicated. What about Joey? Joey, Friends, Jeez. Pauline? Pauline, no, I, just, I dated a girl named Pauline. Mm. No, that's not going to work. Wait, Ben? Scott? Scott? Scobbin? Scott? Look, it says Fred. And Fred's we'll video workshop. We'll raise him like one of our own. So what does Fred mean to you? What's most meaningful to me about Fred is having the opportunity to tell kids that age that, yes, you can be an artist. It's a great privilege to live as an artist and to live as a creative person. And it's a wonderful life. And yes, you can do it. Well, Fred to me is a really good two weeks in the summer. I always look forward to it. It's a lot of laughs. It's great filmmaking. The kids blow my mind every year um, from day one. It's sort of very smart environment uh, where, where kids are allowed to explore uh, their own creativity. I think Fred to me is a way for, for kids to maybe find out something about themselves through a new art medium. I love the thought of creative uh, theatrics or uh, documentaries being made in my space. I think uh, the professionalism is increasing, even with those who are your mentor instructors. But I think by now, it's a pretty smooth operation. And I must say, for the, uh, for the record, that the caliber of the student participants is the best I've ever seen. I'm very pleased that some have even chosen to return. And uh, they're getting better all the time. Fred acronyms, anyone? My favorite Fred acronym is Folding Recliner Eats Dad. Free Red Elephant Drivers. Fantastic recreational, educational uh, doers. Fish really eat daringly. Farm rats edit digital. Feel really educated deadly. <laughs> uh, filmmakers really envy mangoes. Prem? Mangoes? Well, let's talk to Fred about what he thinks. Ben and Scott were really good parents. Even in the beginning, they were supportive of me. I just feel bad that I've grown up so quickly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little choked up thinking about it. The farm? Wow. It's a really healthy environment to grow up in. But I also hope, as I get older, that I will travel to new places and see new people. Fred also likes to cause some trouble. Uh, well, I think, uh, I think there's, it's such a huge space that it allows various groups to do a, you know, various films. So you can have a, a gunfight going on on one side of the... Uh... I edit. I do a television show every week. I work on documentaries um, for Outward Bound, and um, me and Ben do a bunch of stuff. We just did a film for our children, our people. <laughs> ben, Scott, Christina, Chris, Tom, and begins with an M. <laughs> yes, I've been trained in both acting and documentary filmmaking. Uh, 
You want me to laugh? Is that Fred? <laughs> Fred is a mystery to me still. Uh, I am still asking the question of why and what Fred. And of course, that's part of the mystique I'm finding. They don't want you to really define Fred. Fred's going to define himself, itself, uh, over the years. But because it's a mystery, it continues to be intriguing, even when it pops up uh, looking like um, a movie star mannequin. Uh, I think that's only uh, a, a, a device. I think the real Fred is still uh, a mystery.